आई एम डॉक्टर चैताली त्रिवेदी अ लेप्रोस्कोपिक एंड हिस्टोरोस्कोपिक गायनाइक सर्जन एंड अ कॉस्मेटिक गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट नानावटी सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रीफ यू ऑन डाउन सिंड्रोम और ट्राइजोमी 21 एज इट इज कॉल्ड इन द मेडिकल लैंग्वेज ट्राइजोमी मींस ट्रिप्लिकेट दैट मींस इंस्टेड ऑफ बीइंग हैविंग टू क्रोमोसोम 21s we have three chromosome 21s in all the cells of the body this usually happens at the stage of cell division which happens either in the sperm or the egg cell down syndrome can be diagnosed as early as in the first trimester of pregnancy by doing a routine ultrasound or a sonography in the first trimester you can check the uh, nuchal translucency and identify that there may be a high risk for the patient's baby to have down syndrome in future in the second trimester we can diagnose it when we do the anomaly scan and also it can be diagnosed with blood test that is the triple marker blood test there is a high incidence of down syndrome babies in women who conceive majorly after 35 years of age when women conceive at 25 years of age the incidence is 1 in 1250 pregnancies whereas when women conceive after 40 years of age the incidence is 1 in 100 that is pretty high down syndrome babies are usually characterized by their external features that is they have a short neck there may be a fold of skin at the back of the neck there is flattening of the facial features and the nose also they have a small head and a small mouth and small ears too if you look at the eyes they have upward slanting eyes and there may be a fold of skin which may be running from the inner corner to the outer corner of the eye these babies when they grow they also have uh, developmental uh, abnormalities delayed milestones as in the the speech and the language may be delayed also the toilet training may be delayed in these cases these cases can be rehabilitated in a very wonderful way if it is start, started at an early age so you can have speech therapy you can have occupational therapy educational therapies in these cases and if started at an early age they do uh, live a quite a normal life the life expectancy has increased to 60 years in these cases also because the therapies have started at an early age in all these patients there may be some amount of mental retardation there could be heart problems and digestive problems in these cases but that can be treated medically mm-hmm.